So we do technical work on the violin because the repertoire has so many different expressive demands and we really want to have a good foundation for playing the pieces with confidence and with enjoyment. So in Trinity Music Exams, all students start the technical section with a bowing exercise and these are fantastic for building technique, specifically coordination and getting the brain working a little bit harder than it would usually do. It's not just about the fingers, it's also about the whole picture of oneself as a, as a musician and as an instrumentalist. For instance, grade four is this Amsterdam rhythm, grade seven you have a hooked bowing. Both of these exercises develop coordination, they get the right hand and the left hand really engaged, so you're not just playing a scale, you've got a musical idea and a rhythmic idea and uh, really detailed technical work begins to happen when you, when you concentrate on these studies. For the lower grades in the Trinity exams, candidates choose between doing either scales or doing studies. For candidates who choose to do the scales and technical studies, they have all sorts of different techniques, even from the very earliest grades, like double stopping and playing in high positions, which demystifies some of these techniques that we would associate with more advanced repertoire. And that really gets the technique of a young player going from the earliest grades. With the higher grades, the candidates will be playing around tonal centers, and so this builds tonality, it builds a sense of intonation, and it makes the scales more musical, it makes them more integrated with the repertoire. Alternatively, candidates can choose to play studies instead of the scales and technical exercises. There are various advantages to doing this for a candidate. They can pick one piece which will build all sorts of techniques together. I think of something like Swallows Gliding in grade five, where they'll have double stops to play, they'll have uh, they'll have to make a really beautiful sound, they'll have position changes, a scale on one string, or a piece like Latin Adventure which has chromatic passages, it has different bowing exercises, it's musically a bit spikier maybe, and so it, it's something that would be a lot of fun to play. Um, and the advantage here is that you don't need to play them from memory, you can have the music with you in the exam, and so that gives some people more confidence. In the higher grades, there's the option to play orchestral extracts. Uh, it's a fantastic opportunity to build the techniques that you'd be using in these pieces. It's wonderful music. Um, many of the players who are taking these exams will be playing in orchestras, and they might well be playing the repertoire that these extracts are taken from. And it's one of those places which we can forget to work on as teachers and forget to work on as students in lessons and our own private practice because we are often protected by having 20, 30 other players uh, all doing the same music and we don't necessarily hear ourselves in that much detail and to play extracts means that you really get to work on these uh, in detail, you really get to think about how you're playing them and what you contribute to the sound of an orchestra. In this video we've been looking at the technical exercises, scales and studies in the Trinity Music Exams and it's a really great springboard for other technical work if you go on to develop your technique as a violinist, so uh, Sevchik and Shradiek, or continuations from the basics we see in, in the Trinity syllabus. And it's a great foundation for your life as a violinist and as a string player.